Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, we're gonna do a couple flows here from the half kneeling so that we can address the hips while we work on some upper body mobility. So I'm gonna go to a little bit of an off angle here so you can see what's going on. We're gonna start off with the sticks placed at 11 o'clock and one o'clock. Got my left leg back here. And we're gonna take that back foot and put it in a plantar flexion because we're gonna push that foot in the ground to help increase some strength while we're lengthening these tissues here. So sticks are at 11 o'clock and one o'clock. I'm gonna put my hands up as, as high as I can. And the first thing we're gonna do is do a forward shift. And as I drive forward, what I'm working on here is lengthen the lats, but I'm also working on mobility in this front ankle. So I'm driving way into that front ankle. I'm actually not hanging on the sticks right now. My hands are gonna slide, but I wanna keep my arms up overhead. And from this position, we're gonna push ourselves out with that front leg and keep reaching our hands up the stick. So I have this nice length there. We're gonna do that one more time just so you get the hang of that. So I'm reaching forward and then pushing back up. So now we're gonna add a little back bend to this flow. So the way that works, hands are gonna stay in that same position. You're gonna push that back foot into the ground and then you squeeze that glute. And now we're gonna pull the sticks behind us get the back bend and we're gonna to start to look up towards the ceiling. So you might feel a nice big stretch through quad, hip, then all the way through this anterior chain into the chest, maybe into the biceps as we go back. So we'll start the little sequence here. We'll do three reps in each direction. So you're in the half kneeling, back foot's plantar flex, sticks are at 11 o'clock and one o'clock. Reach your hands up nice and high. And let's start that shift forward. So load that front foot as much as you can. If your hands slide down a little bit on the sticks, that's okay. We're gonna pause for a second. Now push yourself out with that front leg and go right in that back bend. And as you go to the back bend, we're squeezing that left glute, pushing that back foot into the floor. Come back forward, shift. We're gonna pause at these positions for two to three seconds and then push yourself out. Pull the arms behind you, push that back foot in the floor, increase that tension into the quad, look up. We'll do one more rep. Drive forward, get that nice length in the lat. Push yourself out with that front leg. Pull the sticks behind you, go into that back bend. And while you're in this back bend, I want you to lightly drive the sticks into the ground. Recruit some of those posterior chain tissues slowly come back to center and we'll switch sides so i'll face this way see what's going on so right foot is in the plantar flexion i'm in my half kneeling position sticks are at 11 o'clock and one o'clock hands are up nice and high and now i'm going to shift weight onto that front leg so we're working on that ankle mobility on the left side lengthening the lats push myself out I'm gonna squeeze that right glute, push my right foot in the floor, go into this nice back bend here. You should feel a stretch from that right quad all the way up to your chin. And come back, big reach. If you can get a little further each rep, go for it. Push yourself out of it, big back bend. Drive the sticks into the floor for some stability. Last rep, so you got that big reach. Push yourself out, go into this back bend. Remember, squeeze the glute, push that right foot in the floor. We wanna get stronger as we're lengthening these tissues. Come back to center. And now we're gonna work on some groin and adductors here. So you're only gonna need one stick. So we're gonna set up in a half kneeling position, but now we're gonna go into an open half kneeling. So my right foot is gonna come out to the three o'clock position. Now I'm gonna take the base of the stick. I'm gonna place it right in front of my right instep, right by the heel. Now we're using this as a guide. And what I wanna do is as I slide into this stretch, I wanna make sure that my right knee isn't caving in so that we can really maximize the stretch and the adductors. 
So using the stick for alignment, and then we're gonna reach our left hand away from the stick. So right hand's at three o'clock, left hand's reaching to nine. And we're gonna slide our hips forward towards three o'clock. So I'm getting ankle mobility on that right side, and I'm gonna get a nice stretch through the adductors and groin. We're gonna hold, and I'm gonna actively push myself out of this, and we'll do two more reps. So drive that stick into the ground, slide to three o'clock, Big reach with the left hand to keep that alignment. Push yourself out and we have one more. So drive to three o'clock. That chest is facing forward. If you feel your, your leg touching the stick, try to actively pull it away. So slide further, push yourself out and we'll switch sides. So we've got right knee down. We're gonna go left leg out to nine o'clock. Key here is if we go out too far with that left leg, now we have a harder time working on that ankle mobility. So try to pull that leg in so your, your shin is pretty vertical here. So placing the stick just inside your instep, reaching your left hand to nine o'clock, right hand to three o'clock, keep your chest facing forward and slide your hips and your knee towards nine o'clock. We're gonna hold for two to three seconds. Use your strength to push yourself out of there. Rest for a sec, come back in. Hold this position. If you can get further, go for it. Make sure we're not losing any of that structure up top. Come back up and one more. So we'll drive forward, reach it back as far as we can. Should feel a nice stretch through the adductors and groin. Come back up and relax. So you can use this for recovery. You can use it for a nice warm up, and or just as a daily routine.